Pagano with a half a car length on him. Now here comes Carl back on the low side. Oh, oh Carl wins. spins a little. Come on, he's sideways. Oh, Come on. now it gets Pagano. into Joey. Oh. Joey's into the bar and the car's upside down. On his side is Clint Yellow's Boyer. out, yellow is out, yellow is out. Wallace gets into it. The 14 of Bliss gets into it. Red flag immediately. Stop on the back. Don't hit a stop on the back. They are stopping everyone on the back. He got loose or something. I just in the throttle. He got loose. I touched him, guys. See, Carl got loose right there. So did Joey. Joey's, Joey's out. Loose. Yeah, Carl never touched he him right there. Him. No, he never did. Wow. He never. He thinks he did, but he didn't. Yeah. No, he never touched. Him. So when they see the video, but look what happens behind. Eric Almarola does not escape this one this time in the 88. Yeah, so many good Mike cars Bliss involved Bliss, there. Yeah. Had a great run all day. Watch this one more time. Well, this is just two drivers just giving it everything they could, but you can see Joey was in the gas, slid up to where out of the groove, there's no grip there whatsoever. And Boyer got the worst of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's Boyer's view. Hang on. That was wicked. And here is the contact. Wow. That, that looks more like an open wheel car situation where, you know, they just ride up on the wheel and get airborne. Yeah. In that situation, I'd almost worry more about Joey Logano because that right front wheel of, of that 33 was almost in his window. Oof. Wicked yeah. crash. I don't know if, uh, you know, if Carl got into him or not. He certainly, you know, he got him loose. But uh, that's racing. I mean, green, white, checker to place this tight. Um, yeah, I mean, they were both way up out of the groove. That was pretty wild, man. I tell you, I thought I was going over the, the wall, and that would have been really scary. I was just glad the wall kept me, you know, in the racetrack because uh, I was afraid I might be going over. But um, pretty wild finish. I haven't seen the replay, so I don't really even know what happened yet. But, um, you know, uh, I don't think you guys are trying to get it up. But um, it just seemed like I either got tagged or I think, the, I think just Carl coming up took the air off me enough to make me loose. You see him as... Yeah, I just think as he was coming up the track, you know, it's these, uh, those shark fins they got on when you get a car underneath you right about that point, you feel the car starting to get loose. And that's uh, unfortunate, man. I felt like we had something to, to win with these things with the GameStop car. And we had a good day for sure. Um, just uh, we're trying to get that little bit there at the end and um, switching and tear up as many cars as it did. Yeah, yeah, I think everybody's all right. There's one crew guy that I guess got hit by a piece of debris off one of the cars. So uh, that was kind of scary looking, but... Uh, you know, we're, we're happy to have a, a decent day that was in the making just didn't finish off, but uh, it's pretty unfortunate for our team. We, we had a solid fourth going, but it uh, looked like the 60 just ran over the 20. So uh, I don't know. I wasn't in either of their shoes to really see it firsthand, but uh, you know, when you wreck that close on a restart, the whole field just drives through it. And uh, I think the 18 drove through and back of me like it did last week again this week. So um, just one of them deals.